Hi, I'm Paul Atkinson and I'm the uh, European Product Specialist for the Pro Video Camera and the Cinema EOS range from Canon. And we're here today at the Canon booth at IBC 2018 with the latest addition to our XF family, our new flagship camera, the XF705. And we're very pleased to be uh, bringing to the market the first camera that records XF HEVC with H265 to the mainstream market. Um, this allows us to capture a 4K UHD I uh, image uh, at 160 megs per second onto SD cards. We can also record HDR direct to the SD cards and simultaneously we can record an SDR signal to an external recorder. Um, the camera itself is very familiar to any XF305 users which this camera is intended to replace. Uh, we have a 15 times optical zoom, comes complete with the, uh, the very well thought of Canon CMOS dual pixel AF system with the manual focus adjust system in there as well. Additionally, we have uh, a new range of connections. We have a 12G SDI output, again 4K, uh, 422 10-bit output direct from a single cable, again XFHEVC or Full HD uh, in XFAVC. HDMI, again 422 10-bit uh, output and a uh, live streaming via IP at 60 megs per second again with the full 4K UHD 4210-bit. We've had a bit of a redesign on the camera, listening to feedback from people, and things like the XLR connections. So we have one at the front, one at the back. This one at the back is perfectly positioned to locate a radio mic. The one at the front for a handheld or for an onboard external microphone as well. And we can do four channel audio on this as well. So where we're looking at positioning this camera is, uh, as I said, it's a, a natural replacement for the XF305. Uh, so a news, documentary, feature, content, uh, very much aimed at that kind of level. Um, it's a perfect for the single operator. It takes the same battery as the Cinema EOS range, the BPA30 or 60. It's compatible with a whole range of our existing uh, accessories. Uh, and I think anybody that's used a 305 will feel instantly at home with this. Sales start is uh, around about December and we're looking at a price of around about $7,000 uh, when it starts.